And so today we're here with you know a representative from uh, Fun from Google Cloud who's going to talk about some of the work that we're doing to improve the Apache Hive Metastore, and then also here with AJ from Delta uh, from uh, Databricks who's going to talk about uh, uh, Delta Lake. So just to kick things off and just explain like why, why are we doing this? Why are we getting together? You know, <clears throat> it's really we fundamentally believe at Google that open source is just more important you know now than ever. As you know, digital transformation with things like COVID has just accelerated everybody's you know progress in terms of how they need to revolutionize their business. You know, we really have to have that stable open source layer that we can all work together on to really um, improve and just you know modernize everybody's stacks. Um, and there's two main things. There's two main you know there's two real main benefits to open source, especially as we have this move towards the cloud. First is that customers. They need the ability to freely choose just the combination of services and providers. They're going to best meet their needs over time. You know, you don't want to just get locked into you know one way of doing things and uh, forever be there. And the second is that customers really need to orchestrate their infrastructure effectively across different environments. So you know, you might need to go between different clouds, your on-prem, or different regulations that occur in different you know parts of the world. And you need to adhere to all of that. And you know, open source is a great way that you can standardize on certain APIs, certain technologies as you go across. But of course, you know, open source, it is free in the same way a puppy is free, where it is a lot of work. It is a lot to take on. And luckily, you know, something that, you know, uh, the benefit of open source is, you know, it is, you know, it's source code made available with a license. But the key here, you know, it is open source that may be developed in a collaborative public manner. And that's exactly what we're trying to do. I know personally, I've had a lot of great success working with um, some of my um, fellow, maybe you can even consider them competitors, but we've actually done a lot of great work together in the open source. We've worked with uh, at Google, <clears throat> we've worked with IBM on our open source Spark operator for Kubernetes. We've worked with Cloudera on a lot of great projects to improve Hadoop security, because that's something that just really benefits everybody if we can improve Hadoop security for the cloud and you know we've done that and have been very collaborative uh, with those companies now <clears throat> of course we do you know think that you know google cloud is the fastest and most open cloud we really do strive for this to try to be as interoperable as possible to try to be as most open as possible and you know we have this long history of solving big data problems and really providing back to the open source you know this goes all the way back to the original hadoop paper that was written um uh, by a Google employee, and then spun out and became, uh, um, you know, Apache Hadoop from some Googlers that ended up, you know, going to Cloudera. And you know, over time, we have other things that have come out. Like our, we had a paper that came around Dremel, and that ended up becoming Apache Drill. And you know, back when we were writing papers, that really, um, the reason why we were writing papers is because you know a lot of what we relied on is infrastructure components that couldn't be replicated. But now in the move towards cloud-based technologies where you really can, you know, somebody in a garage can go and replicate, you know, basically the same stack that Google has. Now we're actually contributing entire code bases back to the open source. In the, uh, you've seen this with Apache Beam, which is based on our internal, you know, Flume and Millwheel applications, you know, for moving a great processing framework, makes it easy to move data around. That is now available open source framework. And of course, TensorFlow, you know, a, a machine learning models. And then what we've done on the Google Cloud side is we try to really operationalize, make it really easy to run those open source uh, software on our uh, on our products. So what you might see in the you know open source is Apache Hadoop, but what that translates to on the Google Cloud side is if you want a fully managed version of Apache Hadoop, you know same APIs and everything, but you can run that on Cloud Dataproc. Or if you need you know if you want to use Apache Beam, but then not have to worry about how to go scale that, how you know how to optimize shuffle. You can simply, you know, submit that Beam job to Google Cloud, and we can run that on our Dataflow engine. And the list goes on for, you know, a lot of products here in the space. And Google, you know, we are very actively contributing to open source. Almost one percent of all GitHub pull requests were performed by Googlers. And you know, there's over five thousand Googlers that have performed actions on GitHub, and that's a lot considering, you know, how many, you know, that's a big chunk of our, you know, just employees generally. Almost all of our engineers are, you know, somehow contributing back to the open source. So why, why are we here today? You know, it is really about how to bring together this community, how to work together in data lakes, how to make this a better, you know, experience, how to drive the industry forward. 
And, you know, what do we need from you? What are we hoping to achieve from this? Um, feedback is number one is, you know, the purpose of these meetups is we want to get into the, you know, it's not a sales pitch. It's not here. You know, we're not here to say and everything is rosy and amazing. We want to get into the nitty gritty and talk about some of the challenges that we're all facing, figure out how to work together on that and, you know, understand what we could be doing better from a Google side or, you know, Databricks side. But then also we really want to work with you. We want to find developers and <clears throat> work together on a lot of these open source projects and figure out how we can collaborate in the open source and things like GitHub to really just move the entire you know, data lake industry forward. And so with that, I'm going to stop sharing and I'm going to hand off to Fung to have our first conversation of the day, talking about some of the work that we're doing on the Dataproc Metastore team to really update Hive Metastore for uh, <coughs> more modern uh, cloud-based technologies.